Hello everybody, we are in Carmi, Illinois, the proving grounds for fungicides. My name is Madison Wozniak, tech service for Southern Indiana and the bottom two thirds of Illinois. And I'm Camille Lambert, I'm tech service for all of Kentucky and Tennessee. We're really excited to be in this trial today because we are launching a brand new fungicide for 2024. It's called Adastrio. You wanna tell us a little bit about it, Madison? Yes, so Adastrio is a mixture of three sites of action premix. In that compound, you're gonna see azoxystrobin, triathol and our SDHI component, Fluindipure. Yeah, so a little bit about the active ingredients. Azoxystrobin has been one that we've all heard about for many years, and that is due to how well it moves. It's very mobile. It actually has really great rust control too. Flutriophal is the next active ingredient. It is going to be familiar because it's in Zywe. It's in Top Guard, Top Guard EQ, and Lucento. We love flutriophal because it is the longest lasting triazole out there. And it also has very, very good xylem mobility, the best out of any commercial fungicide. I love it because of its spot leaf disease control too. So your gray leaf, your northern, diplodia, physoderma, all of those diseases were going to be covered with flutriophal. But what about fluindapyr? Yeah, so as I mentioned, fluindapyr is our SDHI component. It's absorbed into the leaf and stem tissue, and you're going to be really excited about the rust control from this component. Yeah, so before we hop in the plot, a little bit about the rates. We're labeled from 7 to 9 ounces with eight ounces being our recommendation. Okay, we've moved into the trial. We're actually standing in the untreated check. So two of the diseases that we think are worthy of mention are Southern rust and tar spot. They tend to be on everyone's mind. Um, I'm further south, so Southern rust is something that we tend to talk about. Um, southern rust, we need to have at least six hours of leaf wetness. Typically, the dew that we get in the morning is enough to cause that wetness. We need about 80 to 90 degree temperatures to get Southern rust to infect. Now we've got to have the weather. The weather has to blow it in. So it's not going to overwinter, but it is on everyone's mind. And in my territory, maybe one out of every five years, does it get severe infection early enough in the season to cause yield loss? But I want to make sure that you guys know a little bit about what to look for on the leaf surface. So we're going to see it on the upper leaf surface. Um, by now this has progressed enough that you kind of see the, what the residue of where the disease was. But we do still have raised bumps where we can rub it off of the leaf tissue. So that is what southern rust looks like. I'm going to talk a little bit about tar spot. So in my territory, we deal with not only southern rust, but also tar spot, especially as you move north. So tar spot will overwinter in the field, and the weather conditions that make it blow up tend to be temperatures uh, that are a little bit cooler, between 60 to 70 degrees, and then prolonged leaf wetness, so anything uh, seven hours and above. Uh, tar spot uh, looks kind of like it sounds. So the lesions are going to look like little black spots, and you'll notice that if you rub on the leaf and you don't knock it off, uh, it's not insect frass, it's actually a tar spot lesion. Yep, that's worthy of, of mention. It does come into my territory just a little bit. So we're kind of, both of us, right on the border of both of these diseases being an issue, which is why we are really excited about Adastrio. Both of those diseases are labeled. So in the untreated check, you can see we have lots of spot leaf diseases, gray leaf spot, we've got some northern, a little bit of diplodia. But I want to make note, we've got a lot of southern rust and a lot of tar spot. So you can see why this is the acid test for all of our fungicide trials. Here we have eight ounces of Adastrio. And I want to make mention that we do have a lot less tar spot and southern rust in this treatment. We also are holding back a lot of the spot leaf diseases. We are out of the 30 day window. So this corn is just a day or two from black layer. So we're starting to get some natural senescence occurring as well. All right, so here we are looking at Top Guard followed by Adastrio. The idea behind this treatment is that the early Top Guard application is going to keep some of our early leaf spot diseases at bay so we can make a more timely second application in the R stages for some of those problematic diseases such as tar spot and southern rust. Moving into some of our competitive treatments, this is seven ounces of Veltima. So right away, I want to point out it's a two mode of action product. It tends to be really good on tar spot, but where the weakness is in this area would be southern rust. Here we are looking at 13.7 ounces of Tribopro. As you can see, some of those spot leaf diseases have started to slip through the cracks, but um, really good performance on southern rust out of this product. Thank you for joining us as we walk through this Adastrio trial here in Carmi, Illinois. I hope you're as excited as we are for the full launch in 2024. Today we've been talking a lot about tar spot, so I want to mention that. On the full label, you won't see tar spot mentioned, but we do have a 2EE label, which is just an amendment. It carries as much weight as the full label. 